Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to start developing a user profile based Django project that we are then going to use and customize throughout the whole section. We will see how to extend Django's basic user model with a second model that we'll create, allowing us to store further information about our users, such as a user's biography, city and avatar. Each user will then be able to write status messages that will be bind to his profile, similarly to what happens in most social networks. This will also give us the chance to introduce, to those of us who do not already know them, Django's signals. Signals are very powerful because they allow certain senders to notify a set of receivers that some action has taken place elsewhere in the framework. In our user profile API project, we are going to use signals to automatically create and bind a profiles instance to a user object as soon as a new one is created. So let's get started. As you can see, I've created a new folder called Django REST Framework Level 3, and I've also created a new virtual environment that I have already activated. And within this environment, I've installed Django, Django REST Framework, and Pillow, which we're going to need to manage our profiles avatars. So let's create our profiles API project, Django admin start project profiles API and here it is. So change directory profiles API. Let's create the main app for our project, which we can just call profiles. So start app profiles and as always we can now open visual studio code within the projects folder we can now perform all the routine operations so select interpreter and here it is i can use Django REST framework level 3 virtual environment and here we have our settings.json file let's now install both the profiles app and Django REST framework, so REST framework profiles. And considering that we are now in the settings.py file and we're going to need to actually use images in this project, we can set media URL and media root right here. So media URL, media and media root, we can just call it uploads. Perfect. And actually we can also set the URL patterns to use in order for our development server to provide and serve all the media files. So this is the code, the standard code, of course, that we need to perform such action. And we can now go ahead and start developing our profiles app. So let's start by creating the models that we need. And so specifically, we're going to create two models, a profile model and a profile status model. So far, we've been using the user model for all sorts of different things. First of all, and most importantly, to authenticate our users, but we've also connected it to other models, such as, for example, the review model in the eBooks API project. And so now we're going to explore one of the possible ways that we can extend Django's user model by connecting it to another model profile, which we're also going to create. This will allow us to store further information about our users, such as, for example, a biography, an avatar, a CD. And we're also going to bind this new profile model to the profile status model so that we are going to use Django's user model only to authenticate users within our system, enabling this way a better separation of concerns between the different parts of our project. This is not the only way that you can extend Django's user model, and as a matter of fact, we are going to explore another way to do so later on during the course. So let's import the user model first from Django.contrib.auth.models import user and now class profile which is going to extend models.model as any other normal model would do and so here first of all we need to make the connection between the profile model and the user model this way user 
equals models dot one to one field referencing user with on delete models dot cascade and the one to one field relationship is a perfect fit for this specific task because we want each user to only have access to one profile. Then we're going to have a biography models dot char field with max length 240 characters blank true with clearly of course the capital T then we're going to have a city field char field with max length of 30 characters and then we're going to have an avatar field so models dot image field with both null true and blank true now we know that the user model clearly extends the abstract user model which in itself contains a couple of really useful fields such as for example username first name last name email is stuff and so on and so in order for us to properly define a good string representation for our profile model, we can just use the username field that is associated with the user that we're linking the profile to. So, def dunder string return self dot user dot username. And let's now define the profile status model. So class profile status models dot model and the profile status model has four different fields first of all user profile field which we need to connect using a foreign key field to the profile model with on delete models dot cascade as always then we're going to have status Content equals models dot char field with max length equals 240 characters. And then we can add created at equals models dot date time field with auto now add equals true and an updated at field with auto now true. Let's now define the dunder string method def str self and we can just as well return the profile that is associated with the profile status. So return string version of self dot user profile. Perfect. We can now register the two models in the admin.py file. So from profiles dot models import profile and profile status here admin dot site dot register profile and same thing for profile status now regarding the admin site registration of the different models there is one thing to keep into consideration and that's the fact that as you probably know in the admin site Django is going to set the plural version of the name of the model that you're registering. And with the international localization using the English language, the plural version of profile status might be profile statuses. But Django, by default, only adds an S at the end, like for example, apple and apples. And so we can specify right here in the model, class meta, and here we can set verbose name plural equals and we can just set it to statuses perfect so it's time to give the commands make migrations and migrate as always so it is our virtual environment python manage.py make migrations and python manage.py migrate and let's also create a super user. So python manage.py create super user admin. Perfect. So let's now close this down. 
and let's run our development server instead. So we need, as always, to briefly set the configuration for our project. So add configuration Django, no threading commented, like so. So let's start the development server. Everything is fine. Perfect, like so. And so let's open up Google Chrome. Okay, here we go. Slash admin, going to log in as admin. Awesome, and as you can see, we got profiles and statuses, and of course, we got our admin instance. Let's create a profile instance for our admin user. So you see, user, I can just select admin, biography, I can add site, administrator, city, test land, and let's also choose an avatar. So as you see, in this case, I've got a red square that we can select, save, and this is our first profile instance. And we also got an avatar that we can show.